there comes a time in every young mechanic apprentice's life where he has to spread his wings and fly away. And today is that day. And it's actually a little, all jokes aside, it's a little sad to leave. I feel like I've made a really good friend here. Uh, two friends, I should say. Badge and L. Well, three if you count the dog. Four if you count Matt's dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll be, uh, as you know, it'll be a little sad to go. And as you know, I am a nomad on the go. It is odd for me to be in the same place for so long, but um, I am not opposed to being in a location for longer than just overnight or a couple days from now on. I feel like this gives me a great opportunity to really connect with people, uh, you know, one-to-one, face-to-face, you know, beyond videos and things like that. So, um, yeah, so I'll be heading out today, and today is Super Bowl Sunday. And I'm going to stagger the videos every other day instead of uh, just going cold turkey and turning the channel off and then turning it back on when I get back. Um, just a heads up on that one. I have no idea where I'm going right now. I got to, I need to get a blinker at some point because this one didn't work. Anyways, you get the idea. And then uh, I need to get the cruise control turned on somewhere. And I also need to get the AC recharged and looked at so perhaps being in Tucson would be the best idea that way I can drop the bus off um, also tires need to be balanced rotated things like that so perhaps I'll head in that direction I fly out in three days from now well we said our goodbyes and uh, hopefully we'll be catching up again in uh, the fall Maybe over at Jamie's van build. So, uh, that will be interesting. And a big question mark looms over me about the bus. <laughs> will I have the same bus or will I have a new bus? I don't quite know. Intaglios, giant figures made on the desert floor by ancient man. Um, let's go take a peek. All right, here is the little sign area. Oh, and by the way, does this Mavic Air kind of look like a little uh, Cornish game hen? It's all packaged up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Intaglio, specific type of geoglyph is taken from a printmaking process. Um, let's see. Uh, by engraving or incising the surface so that the image is depressed in relief below the original surface. Uh, basically, it's done by scraping away the darker surface area gravels to reveal the lighter gravels and soil underneath. Damn, the adventure bus is looking pretty good, don't you think? Alright, so you just cross through these things and then there's a uh, a fenced off area about a hundred yards away. Guys, the intaglio looks just like me. Oh wait, it's right here. <laughs> Check it out. There's a head area onto the body towards the middle part of the screen. The left and right are the arms of this human type being. And then of course the legs on yonder. Let's see if I can get there with my shadow. Nope. Uh, the legs over there. I don't know where the other ones are, but let's fly the drone and get an overview of this thing. I swear, man, anytime I try and fly this thing, it's it has to do a stupid fir update uh, firmware thing. So we are struggling right along at like 4%, and hopefully we'll get up in the air. All right, while well, the uh, drone is updating, let's go have a little walkabout here. So... This is an intaglio. What this was exactly, originally, I don't know. 
Was it added to at some point? I don't know. Who made it? I'm gonna try and find out. There's a little information box right over here. This human figure is oriented north-south with, with its head pointing toward the south. Its arms are outstretched and its feet point outward. It, measured, it measures 105.6 feet from head to, head to toe. The torso combined with the arm span are 91.8 feet. It has a visible knees and elbows. Earlier drawings indicated fingers and toes and several lines coming out from the head. Could they represent strands of hair atop the head? We don't know. Today these subtle parts of the figure are difficult to discern. This figure is one of the least disturbed of the group. Is this a figure of the creator? Man, I don't know. It almost looks like a figure of an SOS sign to the aliens which dropped humans off at Earth. <laughs> uh, obviously kidding. I, I don't know. It's pretty amazing that it's, it's intact as it is with the rain and thousands of years that this thing has been here, it's still in decent shape. Um, well, I would say the biggest cause of the, what's the word I'm looking for? Erosion. Probably the largest concern of the erosion is you and I, humans. Uh, as you can see, there is a little runoff here, so I would wager to say there was probably more of these things, and this one just happens to be the most, well, the biggest one, and uh, I think there's a couple down there as well that I passed up. What's going on with this drone? I killed 25%. I'll take it. Continue on. 
I also need to uh, get some more water. I'm about to run out. So we'll stop at the store and I guess we'll head towards Phoenix. And then who knows what's going on tomorrow. <laughs> Snapchat or something. Hey, if you're a subscriber. <laughs> 